If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. Do you believe that God is like popcorn? You know, you place popcorn in a microwave and within three minutes or so, your popcorn is done. So do you believe that God is going to answer all of your prayers within three minutes or so? Some prayers are going to be answered quickly. Some prayers are going to take more time to answer. If I wanted to teach you patience, wisdom, obedience, so on and so on, why in the world would I give you everything you ask for when you want it? If your child is acting bad, why would you reward your child when he or she is acting bad. You would be a bad parent ensuring that your child is going to be a brat. <laughs> Hence, so many bad children in this world now because the parents are not doing their jobs. My point is, if I want to teach you obedience, patience, love, so on and so on, why, why in the world would I give you what you need or want? Think about that. Yes, with faith, you are believing that what you are praying for has happened now. Yes. If it doesn't, don't doubt, because we know that if we doubt, we are ensuring that our prayers are not going to be answered, because we know that from the Bible. So why would you do that? If I told you, listen, I can give you what you need or want, but don't doubt. Yes, it may take me seconds. It may take me months, years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 80 years. But no matter how long it takes me, I am going to do as you ask, but all I ask is to believe in me, trust in me, obey me, and I am going to answer your non-sinful prayers. <laughs> so if you doubt, I am not going to do it. So if I was to tell you that, why would you do what I told you not to do? If I told you, if you doubt, I am not going to do it for you. So why in the world would you doubt? Well, Kevin, it is taking too long. But I am telling you that I am going to answer your non-sinful prayers. Man. <laughs> well, Kevin, you know, I was praying for something since I was 10. Now I am... 40 and it still hasn't happened and I believe it is not going to happen okay you have doubted so it is not going to happen I pray that this makes sense I believe in God I trust in God but I prayed to be healed and I don't think God is going to heal me <laughs> you know what? I don't believe some people <laughs> really pay attention to what they are saying. 
How can you say that you believe in God and you trust in God and say that I don't believe God is going to heal me when you have prayed for it? So how are you trusting in God but you don't trust that he is going to answer your prayer if you are doing what you need to do by God. If you are obeying God, if you are following his rules and regulations and he is telling you not to doubt, why would you doubt? Well, Kevin, you know, I am just stubborn. Yes, I know. Listen. There are things I have been praying for <laughs> three, four years ago, and I still haven't seen them, but I am still believing that they are going to come to me. Listen, man. Oh. I am just an average, everyday guy, and some people may believe that I am this top elite Christian. No. I am this average guy and I only work the principles. If my prayers get answered, your prayers can be answered as well. The difference, perhaps, what I do, I pray for something and believe that it has happened. I don't doubt. I don't believe I doubt. This is why my prayers get answered, because I believe that it has happened. Man, so the worst thing that you can do is pray for something, then doubt. No matter how long it takes, continue to believe that your prayer has been answered. Stop talking that silly talk. I don't believe God is going to answer my prayer. Why would you say that? How is that going to benefit you? Why even think that? Why even dwell on that? How is that going to help you? Not at all. And something came to my mind. Some people may say that they want to please God. They want to make God happy. Okay, what came to my mind, when you continue to believe in God and hold your faith in God, that is going to please God. So, do you believe that doubting God is going to make him happy? When you pray for something, you are always doubting? Do you believe that is going to please God? Think about that. So, really the basic things are going to please God. You believe that, oh, by going to church every Sunday is going to please God by helping 1,000 people is going to please God. Yes, but the basic things are going to please God as well. You are willing to go out your way to do all these hard things when it is obedience, faith, long-suffering, things like that is going to please God. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.